Welcome back to TGTV. More specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very sunny day. And you're already spotting the car behind me there. I'm going to get straight to it because we have a very, very well-known car behind me there and a very well-known individual who's going to be joining me very shortly. I'm here with Charles and Dean today at a supercar event. However, my Carrera GT is here as well. It's been a while since the car has been on the channel. I apologize for my voice. I was out last night. It all got fairly, uh, fairly leery. Uh, Carrera GT hasn't been on the channel for a while. Uh, many of you are actually asking my DMs, have I still even got it? Because you haven't seen it for a while, but I'm pleased to report it's alive and well. The number plate's still a mess, uh, but yeah, it's alive and well. It's clean and it's ready for action. It's ready for the summer. So the individual in question has been out in my career GT already. And that video is now live on his channel. So make sure you go and check that out. Me and him just went out on that. However, today I've got the keys. Don't go and watch it yet. I've got the keys to James's TDF. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump in and we go for a little drive and we're going to go for a little chat because there's been a bit of a kind of checkered background between the pair of us uh, and it'll be good to go for a little chat. We're going to catch up on his plans, what he's been up to uh, and what the tea is basically. So let's jump in and by magic, we're going to make James appear. Hello. Well, this isn't weird or anything. No, not on at all. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nervous? Mildly. No. About me driving the car or just being in a car with me in general? Just being, We've actually just been just in a car Just being together. this close proximity to you. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange world we live in. It's good. It's good. It's, it's finally happening. It certainly is. Got low fuel. I'm not filling out, by the way. Don't worry. It's, what is it? 30 miles in the tank? Oh, you've got two bars. That's plenty around the block. Yeah. All good. Actually fine. Right. TDF time then. I, t I tell you what is weird. And I never thought this would ever happen. It's the first time I've been in the passenger seat of my own car. Really? And I never thought you'd be the person driving it. <laughs> <laughs> Nor did I, to be fair. We're going to get on to why that has happened. If you haven't seen James's video yet, um, you can go check it out after this, of course, once you sit through all of it and all the ads. We have explained on your channel what's, yes. what's been going on, but we will explain as well, for the benefit of those that haven't seen the video yet, what's going on. So, we are at a car event today. Up yep. in a kind of uh, an aerodrome uh, near Northampton somewhere. It feels like the first car show of the year, Do you effectively. It, it, it is. Yeah. It, it's really nice to get some normality, but uh, you and I are both working with Charles and Dean. That's right. In some yeah. capacity or other. Um, and during that process of you kind of coming on board with them, because I've worked with the guys for a while, yeah. um, we have um, had conversations and, uh, and whatnot, and we decided life's too short. <laughs> what, what, what Tom's trying to say is, We've we made up. up. <laughs> I added the kiss bit in there. Um, yeah, you know, like, we, we've kissed and made up, so um, all yeah, fun good. and games. And life is too short, it's a very small world, um, and ultimately, I just wanted to blag a ride in your TDF. Well, and you likewise, wanted... I haven't driven a Carrera GT for a while, I was like, oh, who do I know? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's quite cool, actually. You are, the Carrera GT, you make no secret of the fact that's kind of a halo it's car for you. One of my favorite Other than the favorites. TDF. Yes. Uh, and likewise for me, you know, F12 TDF's been kind of a halo car for me. And what would your spec be if you were to. Because I've, I've made. I'm completely transparent. Your Carrera GT spec is the spec I would go for. Thank you very much. I actually saw that in a video years ago. <laughs> and I, I know like, you're not you're lying like, there. Mark those words. I was like, <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to rub that a, in his face. A percentage of the buying <laughs> of that spec was because of that sentence because I thought it would annoy you. It's probably the only time I've been a genuine influencer. <laughs> uh, yeah, claim that one. Screenshot the conversion, put it in the deck. Um, so, no, my, my spec for a TDF, it'd be quite boring. I think I'd probably do a, a grey, a silver, you, yeah? a green. Okay, cool. Um, I have actually just got another red Ferrari. Have you? Which what I don't think is on the channel yet. Is it not? Is this going to go out? Don't know when it's going out. It. Okay. Well, just keep that tease going then. I will keep that tease going. <laughs> uh, perfect. Right. So we're going to go through your garage history as well. We're going to have a little chit chat about what you've got because I kind of lose track. Um, it's all got very silly yeah, in the YouTube both world. It's getting out of hand. Although I thought I was doing well. You joined these up. The wind noise. <laughs> So you've been out micro GT, yes, and you didn't go hell for leather. No, not so we're, we're not. We're not going to be. Uh, we're not going to play um, silly bollocks. There's just um, there's a two pronged respect with that car. First of all, it's not my car. It's yeah. your car. Second of all, it could kill you. <laughs> that car can be an animal, right? How does it? How do you find the sounds compared to the standard F12? My yeah, compared to my Bogo F12, it's. It's way more raw, actually. Yeah. I expect it to be very similar, but yeah. the valves opening is way more of an yeah. event. Yeah, yeah. Even with no, not much input, the valves opening and just sort of start shouting. It's one of the few modern day cars that I felt doesn't need an exhaust. It just sounds you good. You don't. And there's that satisfaction on the OEM. It just, it's perfect. Yeah. This isn't from an era where they ruin cars. 
This is it, man. I mean, I think we're gonna. This might be one of the last. We'll see what that 812 Competizione sounds like. But the GTS, I think they they've told some porkies or they've they've done something silly at Florida. Yeah. It's very loud. It is. I and don't know how they got around it. It's supposed to have the fuel particulate filter in it, and I'm not sure it does. I don't think it does. No. Same with our Reckon Evo. Yeah. That thing sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. know how they got away with it. Lambo and Ferrari are. Uh, They've, they've done something silly behind the scenes. So you've got this, obviously. Yeah. Uh, you've got your GT3 still. Still got the GT3 manual. That's my uh, daily driver of all things. Yeah, it's I mean, every time weird, I've seen you, you've been in it. Yeah, just I'm in that it. thing. Every time you've seen it, it's probably covered in road grime and bird dirt. Um, Perfect. That's yeah, that's just done 36,000 miles. And wow. I want to do 100,000 in it. I just want to use it you know that's the fuel though 40 that's, miles we've got that's, loads that's great range. yeah this thing drinks with two straws so. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's been good uh had some weird purchases late got a volkswagen xl1 i, I saw something about that i was like surely thing. that's that clickbait or you actually no, that's real that is real. yeah yeah i don't know why coming from a guy who's in an f12 tdf the notion of this thing fascinating me from an engineering point of view yeah. so it's the most fuel efficient car in the world really it'll, yeah it'll do, it'll do 330 miles per gallon which is pretty nuts doesn't with, sound like this though with, with no electric <laughs> technology or there is electric yeah it's, it's a hybrid okay. it's, a, it's a two cylinder diesel hybrid so it's a weird thing mid rear engine two cylinder diesel hybrid but the hybrid's only there for around town and okay. getting off the line yeah. once it's rolling the diesel engine kicks in and it sounds like a Dyson and it sort of you don't so much as drive this thing as sail it it's like it's in this constant <laughs> state of sailing there's like no friction about it and it just rolls and it does like crazy it sounds energy. really cool yeah, so do you, do you use it do you go out no, to weight trace it no never use it I want to use it Perfect. but it needs a road trip and up yeah. until lately we've been in the least conducive environment yeah. to go on a road trip so yeah I'll investment do it at some point Trick. yeah investment yeah It'll got go it up. got it at a brilliant price it was in an auction and it was in the wrong room <laughs> at the right time so it was in a room full of people that wanted like japanese drift cars and like cosworth and stuff Perfect. and then this random xl1 was slid in there oh, and we just thought you know what too. maybe we're it's the right time and sure enough yeah. no one cared about it and it just flopped oh, so it, we got it great it's price. so weird on youtube though as well like yeah. how's your audience responded to it could have gone either way well i thought it was going to flop but it was one of the best performing videos of last year <laughs> really <laughs> but it's so weird that they there's no content on it i guess they, they made 200 of these things yeah so there's no content on it um and like you mentioned it a minute ago, I think some, most people thought, no, he's no, not, he's not, he's not all that. Well, I thought VW too. were paying you or so. <laughs> yeah. I didn't watch the videos, I'm not giving the yeah, clip. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. that actually happened, so. Good on you, it's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So, no, it's funny, behind the background, I haven't followed Tom. Tom hasn't followed me. And I think the audience have seen that. They're like, these guys, you know. Which is funny because when I first met you, Tom didn't hate me, so. <laughs> and then you know Tom what? decided to, to not like me for a while I think and then I thought maybe it's because I didn't follow him I would know uh, yeah well yeah I mean it's, <laughs> yeah, it's something and nothing we're, we're not going to go into it there wasn't yeah. actually really anything it just became like a self yeah self kind of uh, perpetuating like just I think the situation. audience quite liked it didn't they they like it but you know what a bit of um online beef yeah it goes a long way. It, it does. It does do. I mean, just yeah. I mean, yeah. look at all the top rappers. They all have a go. Well, this is it. Exactly. Yeah. East like, Coast, West Coast. Rappers, as in, rather yeah. than rapping cars. Yes. That's, yeah. Exactly. Although. Anyway. <laughs> so there we go. Fine. But perfect. So you've got the XL1. XL1. GT3. GT3. F12 TDF. TDF. Turbo S. Still got the Turbo S. Still got the Turbo S. Mine's gone. Has it gone? It's gone, gone now. It's gone. I've got another one coming. What do you think of it? Oh, unbelievable. Yeah, amazing. Unbelievable. Complete unbelievable. Yeah. It's probably hands down one of the best cars I've ever had. It's it just ridiculous. ticks all the boxes, right? Yeah. yeah. It ticks all the It's, it ticks, it's, it's yeah. wild incredible. thing. Incredible. The one modern classic I've got is the manual Aston Martin DBS. You really annoyed me when you got that. Well, I'm glad. Because I was I'm, eyeing I'm those up that. and I, I'd inquired about one. And then yeah. you got one, I was like, he's ruined that car for me now, I can't now get one. How do you and think I also... felt when you bought a Carrera GT? <laughs> when you bought, I mean, this guy. Look, like this guy. This is a bit of fun now though. I'm, it's good to hear the backstory. I'll send it. <laughs> that gear shift. Yeah, the gear shift is like, Mine doesn't do that. In. No, no, in, in race, it's, it's almost a blend between like an Aventador shift and a yeah. twin clutch box. 
an amazing thing. I didn't yeah. expect that at all. It's crazy, right? They'd engineered some uh, yeah, uh, into some it. theatre into it. That's bonkers. Yeah. Does that, that when, when you're on it and you've got cold tyres, does that unsettle the car? Yeah, you need if, to watch oh, out? Dude, if it's on cold tyres, just forget it. Really? If it rains, I don't even bother taking <laughs> it out. It tries to put you through the hedge all the time. The downshifts are ridiculous, huh? Hey, it's just the best yeah. car ever. It's so good. It's unbelievable. Anyway, what were we even talking about? DBS, yeah. yeah you, DBS. So, you know I mean? I so like, that rubbed so you good. up all kinds of the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me on that. Uh, and, and the other thing that you've, uh, you, you forget is that yeah. when someone like you buys a car, yeah. the market moves. Which is gnarly, right? Yeah. Which is, I mean, it's yeah. great. It's great. It's it absolutely cool. brilliant. So what you're saying is if you want a DBS now, it'll cost you 10 more grand. It's his fault. Cool. Yeah. So I'm not getting one because I'm having to pay um, all right. James margin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you put some tax on top of margin there. Yeah. Crikey. I, I okay. actually get that sometimes when I buy something sort of out of the blue and random, yeah. I get people saying, oh, uh, mate, why'd you I was going to buy one next week and now you've ruined the market. Isn't that the craziest thing yeah, that actually bonkers. happens, right? 996s, yeah. they've got yeah. an answer. Yeah, there's no one wanted what, them. What was, the, what was the thought process behind that? You just I always love one. one. I just That's love cool. the design. That I just think cool. it's... Yeah. I think that 996 design, the, yeah. the wide body with the with the slats underneath the rear yeah. light bar, Super I just cool. think it's amazing. And the, the GT1 um, oh, with, with those Lovely. headlights, yeah, I just... Yeah. That's an era of Porsche I absolutely love. Yeah, um, and it, it's basically Crow GT era as well. Yeah. yeah. It's got the same steering wheel. So that era of Porsche I absolutely love. And that's what I kind of grew up looking at and wanting. Right. I think that was 25 odd grand. Amazing. So much car for the money as well, right? I've spent so much time and money on that thing just doing OEM okay. plus stuff to it, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's great. It's a cracking car. Yeah. Cracking, cracking car. Um, so come on, we're just scratching the surface of what you've got hidden away. What are you up to, 11 now? There are 11 cars, yeah, I think. I, um, I don't know what I've told people has come and gone. Okay. I need to so maybe things. update my Instagram Lots of things. Bio. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know you've got it good or bad. I can't decide when you have to write it down. <laughs> yeah, but people are like, what colors have you got now? I just write yeah. Insta bio. Yeah, just go and check options. my link. Absolutely yeah. horrible. Um, but I, I had an Urus. Have an okay. Urus. Had an Urus. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Which stage are you at? <laughs> yeah. Um, do you like the Urus? Um, I've only ever been, I've only ever driven one once. I went on the launch of it mm. and I haven't driven one since, but I do like them, yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I got on it? with it. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. But it's, I can't use it like I use my Range Rover. Right. Because the Range Rover, it's, it's, it's invisible. Yes. You, you just park it, I've done it, it's invisible. But yeah. that thing, you can't use it like a Range Rover in that sense. And Yours is white as well, right? Yeah, it looks like a stamped out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't really used it and I am eyeing up that, that going. And in my head, it's basically oh, yeah. gone yeah. because I just, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to put any more miles in it. Um, right. I think you can go, to be honest. Yeah, when you're in that space, and once you've got a Range Rover, they fulfill everything. It's the best car in the world. <laughs> My business partner, I said to him, do you know what I think the perfect two-car garage is? I said, a GT3 and a Range Rover. And he says to me, do you know what my perfect two-car garage is? Two Range Rovers. <laughs> so you got to be kidding me. He said that yeah. to me yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were yeah. talking. And <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's right, yeah. though. They're Isn't unbelievable. It, yeah. And I never got it until I... Oh, it's ended. <laughs> it is, it's really it's got an aggressive shift in it, it right? It really is. I've never Do you heard... find the steering rack on it superb sharp? It's very, yeah, very twitchy. F twelves are though. It's yeah. very, very dirty. It's one of those cars. If you're adjusting the aircon or whatever, when you're, when you're driving, you're, in, in in the the motorway, wrong lane. you're literally in the wrong lane. Like within <laughs> half a second, you've got to be so careful. It's like the standard F top, it's a twitchy, twitchy car. Yeah. So you're going there, so the legs. Yeah. Like, a bit more brake, brace, brace myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just unbelievable, this car. Don't get rid of this, it's so it's good. It's great to be in it. We're supposed okay. to be in there, yeah, aren't it's we? That's all right, we'll around. Um, Perfect. I really well, that's, appreciate it. really cool. Well, mate, if, you, if you're ever getting bored of the, of the CGT and you want to put some miles on, on a TDF, let me know. So let's swap keys for the weekend and just go on a road trip somewhere. Perfect. That'd be ideal. Mm. Mileage <laughs> stresses me out. Mileage. <laughs> and do you know what? Like you're you're quite used to doing all the kind of road trip content and, and putting miles on cars and, mm. and, and sorting out logistics. But my my content historically and kind of my channel, mm -hmm. I've always been tied to a desk job. Not anymore, but I've I've always been tied to a desktop job. So I'm never I'm not used to the whole trip thing. I don't do these things kind of lightly, and yeah. and I need to do more of it. So if you guys out there have any uh, cool content ideas, then you know throw it our way. Yeah, this no. isn't. 
that we will be doing some more stuff yeah, together. Absolutely. If I get this car back in one piece now, <laughs> we will do some more stuff together. Um, and indeed, we're, we're at this kind of car all show weekend. all weekend, sort of together, sort of not. No, I'm just going to plod out here. Um, but yeah, before before I drag it back in then, I want to say thank you very much. Mate, pleasure. Appreciate that. It's good to be on screen talking about cars instead of ripping each other's heads off Because we do have like pretty yeah. much exactly the same takes when it comes well, to cars. Well, it's been great. It has been awesome to watch as well. Watches as well. Someone watches too. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So, no, it's good. It's really cool. Someone in the in the space which is like-minded that I can talk to is... Yeah, it's cool. So, um, yeah, watch this space, I would say, yeah. on that. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Of course, go and check out James's video. I'm sure you already have. Um, that's probably got loads of views, and this one will get no views because it's on my channel and it's dead. Um, this is not the right so This is also the wrong car park. I am a completely <laughs> moron. You managed to navigate a Grand GT back in absolutely fine. I'm just, uh, sorry about this, taking through Gravely Car Park. PPF. Right then, on cool. that note, we'll find our way back eventually. Cheers guys, see you soon, bye. Ciao.